Okay, uh, lead code practice time. There are two goals. The first one is to see um, how to solve this problem and then put in some code there, a uh, solution and then the code. And the second one is to see how to behave during a real interview, uh, suppose you're given the question. So let's get started. So remember, always the first step is to try to understand the problem, uh, what the problem is asking you to do. And also um, ask some questions to let the interviewer clarify uh, in case there is anything you feel unclear. And also think about some ash cases at the very beginning. So uh, let's see what this problem is. So it's called sparse matrix multiplication. And given two sparse matrix ma matrices A and B, return the result of AB. Okay, so you may assume that A's column number is equal to B's row number. Okay, yeah, that's for sure. Otherwise, you cannot really do the uh, matrix multiplication. All right, so each matrix has the dimension, uh, so that each of the dimension is between one to 100. And uh, the number is between minus 100 to 100. Yeah, so it says it is a sparse matrix. So it will, so what it means is that most of the elements are zero. So regarding sparse matrix, um, there are always, um, so, so usually you use some hash map to represent it. So the hash map is something like, um, so the, the, it's a hash map of the hash map. Usually it's something like this. So it's hash map, it's uh, row IDX, and then the hash map, this is a column IDX, and then the corresponding value. Um, and all the values are not zero, are non-zero. Um, for this one, let's see. Mm. So let's see, for this one, we have the row index and the column index for this, and then we would need to find, so for this row, each of the number, we are going to get the corresponding uh, columns. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I think I get it. Sure, so, um, yeah, so like I said, uh, we will turn the matrix, uh, A matrix into this one. And B matrix, I would say it is first one, the first key is a column index. And then for the inner hash map, uh, the, the key is a row index. Um, this is for the easiness of the multiplication. And uh, okay, so the next thing. So, okay, so uh, what, what about this? What is the runtime for this? So we are going to go through each element. Um, uh, it's, it's hard to say, it depends. Uh, so first of all, when we go through all the elements for A and B, it is going to be, uh, let's say there are n numbers in A and n m numbers in B. So it is O, N plus M, something like that. And also, what about the next step, which is a multiplication? So multiplication really depends how many non-zero numbers are there. So yeah, so yeah, it really depends on that. Um, so it can vary depending on the 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 inputs, like how sparse it is. Um, but. Uh, yeah, I, I don't really have a good way to do it, but uh, let's start to do some coding and then maybe you can leave it as a to-do thing. So first of all, for the coding, uh, care about the practice of the code and the readability of the code, and of course the, the speed of the code. So first of all, you're going to say um, map from uh, the integer and this map of the uh, integer to uh, integer. This is a uh, a this is a a matrix. Let's say just a, it's called a m. 
is equal new hash uh, map this one and then uh, we have the b we also define the b so here so for each row each column hmm, okay so um uh okay int i is equal to zero i is smaller than um uh, a dot lens and then plus plus i for j equal to uh, zero j is smaller than a zero dot lens plus plus j all right so um we will say this one it is um am dot put which is row index and the new hash map yeah so this one we are going to say okay am dot get i dot put this is the j and a ij uh, we need to have a uh, condition. So if a i j is equal to zero, we just simply uh, continue. Very right, similarly, uh, we are going to do the same same iteration for it. It's more than uh, b dot lens uh, plus plus. So remember how the arrays are stored um, during our computer science class. So we don't really want to like f like iterate by the column on the outer loop. So so, so the inner loop is a better way uh, for the re from the run perspective, run run running perspective, the runtime perspective for it. Consider uh, the underlying storage for the computer. So for this one, if um, let's say if a um, m dot if not a m dot contains key uh, j, then what we are going to do is um, sorry, this is b m. So this b m will put um, the j here and the new hash map. All right, so at the at the end we are going to say bm dot get uh, j dot put um, i and then it is b uh, i uh, j and the uh, oh and it, it should be within it and uh, we should also have a if to see if a b i j if it's equal to a zero then we simply continue all right so we are done with um transforming the matrix of the 2d array to the to the corresponding hash map so the next thing is to compute each of the elements so we are going to say um int um C let's say the let's say let's call it A B is equal to new int um so it should be equal to a dot lens and um uh okay so what is that it is actually b zero lens dot lens I think okay so it's b zero dot lens okay um sure so okay so i is equal to zero i is smaller than uh, i is smaller than um uh, a dot lens plus plus i is for um int j is equal to zero j is smaller than uh, b zero dot lens uh, plus plus j 
So we are going to compute the element for i, uh, so for a, b, i, j. So for a, b, i, j, it is actually uh, the a's column, sorry, the a's row and the b's column. So, uh, so we are going to get um, map uh, integer to uh, integer. So it says a row is equal to am dot get i and uh, map uh, integer uh, integer b b column is equal to bm dot get uh, j. And then we are going to go through uh, one of the things. So we are going to say. Um, Okay, so we are gonna say uh, for keys. Uh, so this is the column. Yeah, so this is the column index. So this is a column for a row dot key set. Uh, yeah. So if uh, we need to have the sum. So let's say the cell is equal to zero. So if um, uh, b column dot contains uh, key, this is a column. Then we are going to say, all right, cell plus equal to um, uh, a uh, row dot to get uh, call times um, b call dot uh, get a uh, call all right so uh, it's like a row times the column mm, okay yeah so and finally we are going to set a uh, ij as equal to cell and then we just uh, simply uh, return a b uh, it's a b i a b i j actually or we don't really need to do it uh, because uh, it is abij is actually that so it's just uh, abij equal plus equal to that that's just enough all right so uh, remember after the coding always do do some testing using doing some sanity check by going through this example uh, by going through some example uh, and do some sanity check at the same time explain how this piece of code is gonna work and then uh, try to some set up some different test cases so for this one uh, let's go through it so we will have a m let's see the first example uh, actually there's only one example here so it, it will be a m equal to mm -mm, a m uh, equal to something like um, zero uh, if it is equal to this other than that okay so it's zero to one and then we have another thing which is one uh, and the first column is one uh, sorry zero and then minus one another thing is uh, uh, two, two, three. Okay, so that's the AM, and then the BM would be something like BM is um. So it should be uh, J J as a key and I as the inner key. So it is. We are going to say okay. So the first row is zero. So we will have zero. And then this is uh, zero seven. And then we have the one. Sorry, one will be. So actually, we don't have the one here. That is because we have already skipped that. Um. Hmm. Yeah. So that's um. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. So 
if that's true, then we may res it may result in some kind of bug because this guide is going to try to get something that doesn't doesn't ex doesn't exist in um, doesn't exist in the BM. So if that's the case, uh, what should we do? Um, yeah. So I'll say. If um, bm dot contains uh, key, so if it doesn't contain the j row, then we are going to simply continue. Yeah, so that's uh, and this and the sec the last one is two to the uh, two one. So that's the thing. Okay, so let's go through this piece of code to see if the fix is really going to fix the issue. So for the for zero zero, we are going to get the first row zero first row and the first column get them together. Uh, for zero zero, we are going to for sure compute the we are going to have a row and uh, b row b column. Okay. Then we try to get a key and which is zero zero and then we get a seven touch up. Okay, so a zero zero is seven. Let's see a zero one. So a zero one is going to be uh, this row plus this press the empty column. So if it is empty column, then you just simply continue. All right, so I think it mostly seems to be right to me. Um, let's give it a shot. All right, so it's some um, uh, okay, some typo here. All right, so it looks good. Um, I would say, yeah, uh, it, lo it looks good. So I would say, um, yeah, this is pretty much about the question and the regarding the test case setup. I would say, if you have an example like this, it should be, it should it should be perfectly enough uh, for. Uh, for uh, for this, all right. So that's it for this uh, coding question. Uh, if you have any question regarding this puzzle or about the solution, uh, feel free to leave some comments below. And uh, if you um, if you like this video, please give me a thumb up and subscribe to this channel. Uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.